Jack it. Come on. Jack it. Then they got it bumping. Hey. You know my style is different. Set free you know and changed. And uh, God used my little brother, you know, to plant a seed in my heart. And I got out of jail one day and I told my dad, you know what? Take me where you took my little brother. And I went into the home on October 26th of 2019 where uh, God began to get a hold of me. He began to just teach me how to, how to love myself again, how, how, to, how to live with a purpose, with a, with a plan, you know, and, and God began to give me a promise, a promise knowing that I don't ever have to live the way I used to live before, you know, and uh, I graduated the home. I've been two years sober, and uh, now I'm actually directing the home, so I thank God for my salvation. And, uh, and, you know, God began to bring around good brothers around me, you know. And, uh, and I believe that God has been, be, been using us in a, in a powerful way. You know, he gave us a name, uh, Necessary Roughness, where we're able to minister also in song. And, uh, you know, we don't sing or rap, we worship, you know. We, we praise the Lord through, through our music. Then they got it me. You know my style's different. You know it's real unique. I'm trying to preach the gospel. Yeah, I'm trying to. Cause you know that's what I mean uh -huh. Yeah, I'm repping Jesus Christ Cause you know that's who we bring uh -huh. Yeah, we sought the devil out And, and we, we stomp him with our feet yeah. This is victory, we're outreach And you know we gonna be Yeah, yeah. you know we on a mission We headed to the top Saving souls, spreading vision We make the devil drop Yo, and right there, you know, God began to just bring in a team A, a team of good soldiers A team that loves the Lord And, uh, and yeah And we're moving forward Taking ground for Jesus So Here's my brother, Joe B. My name is Joe B. You know, um, I came into Victory Home in October 2019, and God changed my life ever since then. You know, I came in alcoholic. I came in addicted to drugs, addicted to women, all kinds of stuff. But but God set me free the moment I stepped in that home, and God began to work on my heart. You know, I I, I, um, I actually started rapping because we needed rallies. You know, we were, we, they needed rappers for the rallies. So I stepped up to the challenge, and, you know, and then we started pressing in, you know, for rap, you know, and, and got our group Necessary Roughness going, you know, and all glory be to God, you know, that he gives us gifts and we step into his will, you know, that, that God's waiting for us to unlock, you know, God's waiting for us to unlock those gifts and to, to, to reach people, you know, to reach the same people that, that were stuck out there like we were, that were stuck, you know, have no hope. God gave us hope. God gave us hope and, and vision. And now we're, we're God willing, we're willing to travel the world. And, you know, I'm going to Boston in a few months and, and, you know, all glory be to God, you know, to take cities, you know, take nations. We're called to be dispossessors. Come on, we're taking the kingdom by force. Come on, somebody. How <laughs> um, me and Joe B, we first started working together because, uh, you know, I ran the home and he was a staff in the home. And, uh, and you know, we would have those uh, early morning long nights, you know. And after our long nights of, of you know, running the home, we would have our night meeting and talk about what was going on in the home. And, and then we would finally have some free time, you know. And after prayer, after putting our hands to the plow, after getting in the word, um, you know, God began to, you know, fulfill, use us. And, and the scriptures that we would read throughout the day or, or, or the book that we were stuck on reading, you know, God began to give it to us. And God began to let us use it in, in songs, you know. And, uh, and, and ever since there, you know, man, we, we, would, we, would, we would get that hour in our nighttime and just mess around through the beats, through flows. You know, like one thing I love is uh, the same power, you know, the same power that, that made the blind man see and the same power that split the Red Seas, you know. That same power it is available to not only to us, but to those that are watching right now. It's that same power you know, and, and, and we just felt the tug in our hearts, you know, during those night meetings where we're going to get out there and we're going to let that music be known that, that it's all about Jesus, that we're lifting up the name of Jesus, you know. And so I'm blessed, you know, I'm blessed to be here. I'm blessed to be sober. And I know that it's just the beginning. God got so much more for this future and for this world. It all started in the victory home, you know, like Anthony was saying, we were both staffing the home, so... We were running, help, helping to run the home all day, you know, and then, um, and we love, we, we love music, so we would have to burn the midnight oil, you know, we had to go in the nighttime in prayer, in the garage, get into some prayer real quick, you know, we'll listen to some beats, and as soon as God drops that right beat, that right scripture in our hearts, then it was a go, you know, and like, as soon as he gave us the scripture and a beat, 
within like 30 minutes we'll come up with a new song you know when, when me and this guy get together in the studio it's like magic man it's like god's anointing over it and and we've been gonna begin to work begin to you know everything just falls into place like like we don't even really try you know god just gives it to us come on somebody <laughs> I just do it to do it, you know. I'm I'm set on saving souls. I'm set on uh, uh, reaching the hurting, reaching the lost, because I truly believe that there's more Anthony's out there, you know, that, that, that were stuck on that crystal, that were stuck in depression, that were stuck homeless, you know, and didn't know Jesus, were far away from Jesus. But when they see and they feel and they see that that fire and that passion that drives me and and and, and they're able to understand through our songs that that same power, that same faith, that same uh, anointing is available to them. You know, I just I mean, I love getting out there. I love lifting up the name of Jesus. And uh, that's my main purpose is, uh, you know, and also knowing that that, man, we got to stay prayed up. Because the world does have a lot of strongholds. The world does have a lot of bondage, bondages. And if you don't keep your eyes on Jesus and you take them off, even just for a second, temptation's going to come. Uh, worldly desires are going to come. Yes. Everything of the enemy will come. So I know that I do it for the Lord. And that's my main goal is to do it for the Lord and to continue each and every day. Amen. Amen. Um... You know, I gave so many years of my life to the devil, and um, you know, God, God began to do things in my life where, where I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride for God to the end. You know, there ain't no pulling me back to the world. There ain't no going back. You know, I see people like Kanye and Travis, and to see all the grief they go through, and, and you know, that's the world. That's what the world will give you. You know. But God, he gives you the, the anointing. We begin to have rallies in the streets. We begin to see souls get saved. Men go into a home and get radically changed. Come on, we do it for the people that are out there stuck, that are out there homeless, uh, losing hope. Come on, there's hope in Jesus. And there's hope as, as we continue to do the work for the kingdom. God gives us joy. God gives us blessings over our life. And that's why we do it. We continue to do it for the Lord because only the Lord gives us what we need in this life. Amen. Okay, so I think we got to go in there. So uh, thank you guys. And uh, I think for young people out there that are looking for mentors, right? Don't look to the world. Look to Jesus. Uh, don't look to us. Look to Jesus. Because he's the one that saved us and put that talent in our hearts. And if maybe you're a young person and you're looking for inspiration, look to the word of God. Look to the Savior, the King. He was the most amazing writer. He wrote, it says in Psalm 91, that when we look at the heavens, we see his writing. And so, man, if you want inspiration, look at Jesus. Look at the heavens. And there it is. So uh, you guys going to be ministering tonight? All right. Along with Water Walker right here? Okay. So why don't we pray together? We don't get them in the studio. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We want to invite you guys to Victorious Records. That's right. Yeah. I'm the producer. I make beats. We're here to record. Yeah. So let me pray, okay, for you guys to pray together, right? God, I want to thank you and bless you for tonight, God. We pray on behalf of the people that will listen, Lord, that they will just be anointed and blessed by your word. God, I pray, God, that through these amazing artists, these ministers, these worshipers of Jesus Christ, that your word would go out, Lord, to the hope, to the hopeless, to the broken, so that restoration and peace would come out, Lord, so that uh, darkness will turn into joy, that, Lord, grief would turn into, into a dancing. Lord, thank you, God, for what you've done in our lives. We bless you and we uh, love you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, be blessed. You know